We're going to do a serial dilution. First, we will calculate on paper. We're doing a times two serial dilution. So Kim's going to label four tubes. First one is one to two. We're making a times two of it, so that's a one to four. And then a times two of that one makes a one to eight. And a times two of the third tube makes a one to 16. So we are increasing our dilution as we go. Our sample is getting less in each one. So first we're going to add our appropriate amount of diluent in all tubes. In this case we're going to use water and 500 mils of water will be dispensed into all four tubes. So we have our tubes labeled and we've added the same amount of diluent water into all tubes. Because we're making a one to two, we need to add the same amount of our sample to that first tube, which is 500 microliters. We will add to the first tube. Okay, we put in 500 microliters and mixed. Now we're going to take the same amount because we're making a times two dilution and put into the second tube. So it will also have 500 of the first tube, so it's getting weaker. Mix and then aspirate the same amount, 500, into the third tube. Be sure to mix. Take out 500 from tube 3, put into tube 4, mix, and then pull out 500, and we will discard this because we don't want to go any further. There are times you may need to continue. So after we've pulled out 500 microliters from every tube, we should end up with a total volume of 500 microliters. Now let's go to the bench and practice this technique. 